Hi Virgo, welcome to your December bonus love tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome in. Thank you. So Virgo, we're looking at love, see what you need to know, what's going on, whatever it may be. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, male or female, general collective rating. Please only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. You can flip it, switch it if you need to. Cross watchers as well. It could be a reading for you. And everything you need to know, Virgo, is down below in the description box. Your playlist is down there. List of readings I do here. And my other channel and your playlist there. Now keep in mind, Virgo, if something comes out here you have no interest in, it's probably not your reading. I just have to really clearly state that. Yeah, so I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So what, let's see, Virgo, what we have for you. Hmm, the distorted masculine. Well now, okay, so let's see what's going on here. And we do have forgiveness under that, so let's see. Compatibility, maybe that was an issue. The Rainbow Reviver, that's been coming out a lot and resolving conflict that's been coming out a lot as well so i kind of see here um could be a conflict of interest maybe there's some parts between the two of you where you're just not compatible um but we do have the energy of forgiveness here so i don't know if there's a chance of reviving this i mean some may be hoping for that to because you know rainbows are all about you know luck expansion and growth and maybe reviving something here, but it's if we can resolve the conflict and get over maybe where, I mean, it does say compatibility, but maybe that's an issue because it's next to the distorted masculine. So we're gonna see what's going on here. And remember, females can be masculine, so keep that in mind. All right, so we're gonna clarify each card here and see what is going on for you, Virgo. So let's see what's going on with the distorted masculine energy for Virgo. Let's see, why is that here? Ace of Wands in reverse, Judgment in reverse. What else do we need to know here for Virgo? Knight of Cups. Page of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So I kind of see here, um, I feel like someone made a quick a quick judgment on maybe this opportunity to have this could have been a lot of fire passion between you definitely here but I feel like someone made a quick judgment here about uh, a new beginning here possibly could have been about love and passion or love over passion it's something like somebody is definitely holding back here so isn't this same, it seems like the same story over, over for a lot of the signs, but somebody definitely here didn't, maybe they just wanted the fire, the passion, whatever here. And I feel like there's a quick, like I said, a quick judgment about, okay, do I want to fall in, fall in love? Do I want to move forward in love? Though page of wands is usually about good news, but it can be just a fiery, passionate communication. So I feel like there's no problem here with the fire, the passion, the flirting, the communication with that. But when it comes to love and emotions, there's a lot of uh, holding back with that energy. So somebody made a quick uh, quick decision here, judgment call about a new beginning. And it could be because the masculine is distorted. If this is the masculine energy, we do have that Knight of Cups energy there, which does picture a masculine energy. But then we also have a feminine energy. But we do have Scorpio, Scorpio, and Sag. King of Pentacles. So that could be about commitment, building upon a commitment here. King of Pentacles is very stable grounded, usually about commitment. That is your uh, energy, Virgo. So I kind of feel like you wanted to grow and expand into commitment here. Like you already chose, well, we got the Five of Wands in reverse. So you're, you're not conflicted at all. You know exactly what you want. But nine of wands in reverse, you're not, you don't want it to be a struggle either. You're not, you don't want to have to feel like you have to fight to the ends of the earth for this either as well. Could be, you know, I mean, three of cups can be, you know, celebration, reconciling, but we'll see where this goes. So this Virgo, that's your energy right here. 
All right, so let's see what this compatibility is about for you. Just give me a second to close the door here, because of course my cat probably going to go in and out, in and out like 10 times. Because he can't make up his mind. All right. So what's, let's see here. So if you see that door close, <laughs> open and close on its own, it's not a ghost, it's my cat. All right. I can't lock him out because he'll scratch, scratch, scratch till no end. And he can't meow, so you're not going to hear him meow. <laughs> anyway, let's see here, Virgo. Let's see what compatibility is about for Virgo. Eight of Pentacles about putting in the work. <laughs> putting in the work and or to be single or not to be single. So, mm, okay. Let's see what else. So somebody's not putting in the work into this. And somebody doesn't want to, I don't want to say doesn't want to be single. Feels like they want to be like in a committed relationship, not, but not having to fight or struggle for one either. Yeah, as I say that, Ten of Pentacles, High Priestess, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah. <sighs> so I'm feeling like actually like compatibility is a problem because like I said, the Eight of Pentacles, somebody wants to put in the work, wants to be committed, Ten of Pentacles, but the other person here, Nine of Pentacles, I mean, Eight of Pentacles in reverse doesn't want to put the work in, Nine of Pentacles, someone wants to put the work in to be a couple of Ten of Pentacles right here. Uh, communication may be lacking, so maybe you're not, you don't communicate on the same wavelength either with this High Priestess, and it's just a lot of stress here in this um, compatibility issue. I feel like it's an issue. So we do have Pisces showing up here. Uh, let's see. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, both feeling um, ignored, I'm getting. Five of Cups. Things need to change because there's just a lot of like feeling ignored, feeling... Um, there he goes again. Feeling... Um, no, something needs to change. Fives are about change. Two fives here and then ten. Can be about endings, but new beginnings. Just feeling ignored. I keep getting that. A lot of lack here. Six of wands, two of cups. I mean, we do have a soulmate connection here. Someone wants this to be successful. Someone clearly sees it that way with justice here. But I'm not so sure the other person does. They're still sitting at the crossroads here. Wow. So we have a Libra showing up all right let me close that door again which i'm sure he's going to come back in in about two seconds <laughs> i like to keep it shut because the light kind of escapes out that door anyway let's see rainbow reviver so is this a chance to revive let's see is there a chance for growth expansion virgo let's see Let's see. Five of Cups showing up again. Wow, let me shuffle these. Okay. The Fool. So no one's taking any risk here. And I think this fear here of doing something foolish as well. King of Swords. And the Queen of Cups. So a lot. One person has love, emotions, and feelings, and the other person has more of an overthinking, analytical, practical mind. That's kind of what I feel here, Hank, which is putting this in limbo. Wow. Someone's like, you know, let's just be in love. Let's just fall in love. Let's just do this. And here he comes again. And the King of Swords is just like, well, my practical, analytical mind, you know, maybe overthinking about this, which is causing stress, is putting this at a standstill. So no leaps of faith, no one's taking a risk, which is just leaving this energy of loss here. And I keep getting, kind of ignoring what needs to be talked about or the real subject at hand or dealing with it or just ignoring each other. I don't feel like, like you're living together or anything like that. But when you are together, it's kind of like very awkward. I'm getting a very awkward energy here. Oh, let's see. We have um, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces. 
Seven of Pentacles. So there's a lot of stagnation here as well. And this is taking a long process here. It's taking forever, Knight of Pentacles, to get any kind of results here. So decisions need to be made. I kind of see that. If this needs, if this, you know, is going to move forward in any way, shape, or form. Because we again we do have that soulmate connection here. Oh my goodness. So let's see if this conflict is going to be resolved here, Virgo. Is this conflict going to be resolved for Virgo? Is this conflict going to be resolved for Virgo? Let's see. Strength. Well, strength does overcome. It's a good sign. Let's see. Ten of Cups. Oh, my goodness. The star. Oh, my gosh. Two of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. Oh, my God. Look at that. Taking action. Soulmate union. Healing. Forgiving. Balance. Wish fulfillment. Something meant to be. Leads to the Ten of Cups. Overcoming here. Wow, strength overcomes anything. So I, I'm seeing so far that this can be resolved if that's what you want, Virgo. Something meant to be, wish dream come true. Let's see, we have Leo, Virgo. There's been a lot of holding back, but it's all about share, determination, and taking action here, leaping, leaping for joy. I kind of see leaping for joy here, Virgo. And here's, you know, soulmates. There's no denying the connection. I mean, look at that. Oh, let's see. Two of Swords. Again, some sort of decision needs to be made here. And that uncertain feeling needs to go away, that awkward feeling. You see two people not even looking at each other. Two, okay, all seeing here of manifesting a new beginning. Gemini, Virgo. Six of Wands, success, victory. Wow. So, Gemini, Virgo. That could be Leo energy back there as well. So let's see what else we need to know for you, Virgo. Now here for Virgo. What else do we need to know? We have Leo showing up here, Aquarius. What else for Virgo? Seven of Cups. So there's been a lot of uncertainty about this, but really you cannot stop thinking about each other. Definitely here. King of Wands goes after what they want and they make it happen. Death. So there's a transformation. Six of Cups. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you can't walk away from each other. It's not over. Eight of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups. I feel like this is transformation of past energies that's been between you as well. So I would, normally I would say, well, this is over and no going back to the past. But I feel like there's no going back to past ways because I see overcoming the situation here. In overcoming the uncertainty, the confusion, illusion here, because you can't stop thinking about each other. And King of Wands, someone here going after exactly what they want to transform, not going back to past energies, not at all. And, and you can't, you can't walk away from each other. Eight of Cups here, or if someone did walk away, they're coming back. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands. So looking forward to the future. Then we have the match, the King Queen of Wands. There's no denying that. So if you subtract the five from the seven, you get the two. So balancing out the energies here, making a choice. Or you get the nine of pentacles. But I kind of feel here, there's that king of pentacles. Again, that's you, Virgo. Clear conversation coming in here, page of swords. Clearing up the air. That's definitely needs to take place here. Virgo energy, stable, grounded, maybe commitment. A lot of fire, passion, attraction. That's Aries, and that's also Divine Masculine Energy, which is over there. Even though there's a female on here, it's Aries. Aries is the Emperor, which is the Divine Masculine. Future coming in here to change this whole situation here. Balancing out the energies, definitely. All right, so that's if you want this, Virgo. But let's see what the cards have to say here. Messages of love for Virgo. What do the messages of love here have to say for Virgo? Let's see. Messages of love for Virgo. 
go slow take time to get to know each other yeah it's about not rushing finances uh, i don't know if finances had a part in this good i don't know let's see protected you are safe divinely guided so this is a, definitely a protected connection as well new love a new love or a recommitment to love is developing so i'm feeling like this is a recommitment because we're developing transforming this into a new love not not the love it was in the past that's kind of what i feel here all right else for virgo let's get one more Okay, different pages. I just saw it came out again. So you definitely were on different pages in the past, but I think that's changing. That is for sure. And regret. Yeah, someone has regret here. But they're coming in with stability and balance. Wow. A lot of longing here as well. And a second chance. Wow. So it's there if you want it, Virgo. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there. And also my other channel, your playlist there. And just FYI, I'll be switching out the general reading here for a monthly love reading instead. But I'll be moving the general reading over to my other channel. So you'll get a monthly general over there. The readings are shorter, like 10 minutes or so, but still you'll get a general reading, money, career, a spirit message. And I'm adding a new reading and I hope everybody comes over and checks it out because I'm really excited to do these um, in there. It's just going to be uh, pulling tools, resources, guidance, um, energies signs to help you navigate guide you transform your month so i'll be pulling like an affirmation some numbers um a spirit animal for you a chakra you may need to work with and why also uh, a crystal you may need to or want to have during the month different energies like that to help you navigate through the month and help and assist you and i think it's going to be a lot of fun also like a zodiac sign that may be, play a big factor in your life um, just one major arcana to see what major event or energies will affect you for the month. A little bit of tarot to kind of tie, tie it all together. So I really hope you come and check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. So wishing you the best, Virgo, and I shall see you next time.